USB. I took the liberty of ins inserting my USB onto a computer, but you need to insert it in ADB mode. ADB mode. So um, make sure you got ADB. So just type ADB, press enter, and if you give it, if it gives you that many like whole chunk of just random stuff that you don't need to worry about, then you're good. So write ADB connect. Oh wait, no. ADB start dash server. Press enter. Wait for it. Okay. Now you connected your phone in ADB mode now. So close that. Now open CYGWIN terminal. <coughs> now write ADB forward TCP 5555 five 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 five, TCP 5555 five 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 five. enter and then write ADB shell press enter now this thing pops up now if you rooted your phone to the way I taught you in the beginning of this video then or tutorial then you should have super user on your phone if you do not have super user on your phone then you don't have to do this part but if for all those people who do have a super super user on their phone write SU and press enter now on your phone it should say grant or deny press grant and that will allow your computer to connect into your root files of your phone okay continuing on right forward slash system forward slash bin forward slash busy box and C which is netcat dash L dash P five 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 dash E forward slash system forward slash bin forward slash busy box D D F equals forward slash dev slash block slash MMC BLK zero P fifteen press enter. Now that will pop up don't worry about it just leave it now open another terminal or a Sigwin terminal terminal and write ADB forward TCP one two three four five TCP one two three four um, yep and then press enter change directory to S3. Remember that folder you made? Whatever you named it to, that's where you put it in. Press enter, and now you're in that folder. Now, netcat 127.0.1555. Um, that straight line PV-I 0.5 arrow MMC BLK. 0p15.raw press enter now this process takes a while if you have a 32 gigabyte you have a good three hours waiting here for this process to be done um, <clears throat> do not touch your phone for this process you need all the time until you extract that entire raw file out of your phone this is going to take a long time, so I'm going to stop recording here and record in the next section after this is done. Um, also, yep, that's it. So, just, yep, hold on. Alright guys, so it's been an hour and 20 minutes. That's how long it took for my 16 gigabyte Galaxy S3 to finish extracting the entire memory block 15. Um, <coughs> so what you gotta do now is go into your s start menu, write CMD, okay, so and then type CD and then whatever your local drive name is um, if it's not C, change it to a different alphabet. Change it to like D or whatever. 
and then write sidwin for a uh, backslash um, s3 or whatever your folder name is for when you did this tutorial. Press enter and now you're into the folder. Now, <coughs> remember how you put inside sidwin sorry, give me a second. Remember how inside sidwin you put vhdtool.exe? Well, now this is where it falls into work. So all you have to do is write VHD tool tool dot exe and then type <coughs> slash convert mmcblk 0 p 15 dot raw and then press enter. Now this means that the raw file is going to be converted into a virtual hard drive file. This virtual hard drive file is what we're going to mount onto our computer and then use Recuva because Recuva does not recognize any internal memory on your phone. They want just pure data and this is what we're trying to do. So <coughs> what we're going to do is that we're going to go into um, right click manage select storage and disk management select the menu action wait hold on menu action attach VHD browse and go into the okay you see how you don't see any files here all you have to do is click this click all files click raw okay open it and then press ok now you're gonna mount this random disk this is what you just mounted your MMC BLK 0p15 this is what you mounted all your memory so what you're gonna do is <coughs> what you're gonna do is right click right here and then you're gonna press initialize disk I'm just following his tutorial right now, just so that I don't miss anything, because I don't remember it right top, up, up, top of my head. But um, this is a video, so if you don't want to read it, then you want to just follow me. This, it's, this is all the same. So select this, and then press OK. Right click on this and select new simple volume this wizard will pop up, press next um, yeah leave this volume size and then make whatever letter you want he made it to K so I'm just gonna follow him and make it to K click next make sure to select the do not format volume radio button select next and finish So do not full format this volume button make sure you select this because if you format it then you're gonna have to redo this whole thing again now click next and then finish now this will pop up make sure you press cancel you do not want to format this thing at this time so press can just press X don't even press anything okay what you want to do now is right click here and then go into format and make sure you change this to FAT32. Allocation size will be default 